All right, so you want to set up a FileZilla server and FileZilla 1.1.0. So first kind of download it. Right, go over down to here, click on download FileZilla server. Download it. Also leave a link in the description for it. Make sure your network is open so that people can connect if you want that. To do that, you would go into your firewall and you would just disable these, all three, so that outside connections can connect. Agree. Next, put it wherever you want to, just keep it as default. And perfect. All right, so then you can set your port to whatever you want. Don't change this. Wouldn't recommend putting a password. But just keep it on 14, 14, 8. Click OK. Click Yes. OK, now we have the server open. It can't connect. But we need to configure it. So now that we're in here, right, we have these two. Explicit FTP over TLS. If you want, if it isn't allowing outside connections or connections at all, you can also do this. You can put in your IP or you can put in the default IP under port 21, which is SFTP. I mean, not F SFTP, my bad. And then uh, I recommend just keeping on that. Uh, now, if you wanted to add a user, Like, I'll just put that there. Uh, we're not going to have a password. So then to add. So a virtual path, all that does is pretty much like make the folder name something else than what it actually is. So I'm just going to put a slash and it has, it can't be a backslash, it has to be a normal slash. And then the native path, like if I want it to be on my desktop, I would go to, um, over to my C drive. I have some stuff. Users. My name. Or administrator. And then you would go over to desktop. Copy that. Put that as the native path. Writable. Um, that pretty much means if they can like uh, add files. Stuff like that. Apply. Now if we go to FileZilla. I'm just not going to put my real IP. I didn't set up the password, so. And then uh, it's just my desktop right here. I can even verify right here. You know, my desk. That's how you set up a uh, FileZilla server. Um. This is only if you're connecting to your own computer or computer on your Wi-Fi network. Um, because 127.0.0.1, um, that's like, um, like your base network IP without using your real IP. Like a local host kind of. That is. And, uh, it's pretty much a tutorial for this. Um, it also shows when the user is connected. And, um, yeah. Why not? Yeah.